Hi, this is a quick video of me setting up KMK on a mechanical keyboard. I'm using a hand-wired board with a 3D printed chassis uh, which uses a Raspberry Pi Pico. There may be easier and quicker ways of doing this, but this one works for me. First, you need to put CircuitPython on the Pico if you don't already have it. If you do, use the timestamps and you can skip this bit. Download CircuitPython from Adafruit. Hold down the boot select button and plug in your Pico. It should appear as a drive called RPI RP2. I haven't used proper threaded inserts on my chassis, so there's only a limited number of times I can open my case before I destroy the threads. So what I've done is I put a button on the bottom of my keyboard to activate the boot select. Um, I use test point six and a ground pin, and then just a, a standard micro switch. Once you have the drive appear, you can copy the Adafruit UF2 file over. The Pico will reboot if all goes well, and now you should be able to see a CircuitPy drive. If you want to double check it was successful, open Thony and select CircuitPython and you should see the correct prompt. Now KMK. Quick shout out to the developers because this is awesome. Thank you. There are some nice instructions on the Getting Started page on GitHub and I'll do a quick run through of these. So download and unpack. Now copy the KMK folder and the boot.py file onto the Pico. The last step is the main.py file. There's an example on the Getting Started page and there may be one already made for your keyboard in the boards directory. Using the example template, first we need to define which pins on the Pico are the columns and which are the rows. I use GPIO pin 0 to 13 for the columns and GPIO 16 to 20 for the rows. My diodes go from the columns to the rows. Then you need to lay out the key map. I used a little trial and error and I'm still moving my keys around so there may be an easier way to do this. The names are fairly intuitive, but there's a list on the keys overview page. You need to create a list of what each key does from top left to bottom right. Adding extra spaces helps with the orientation on the keyboard. One of the great things about how KMK works is that to tweak my layout, I only need to open Thony, press Ctrl and C, and I can edit the layout in main.py. I do need a second keyboard to do this. I'm still playing with this, but KMK can do layers. So holding function key accesses another layout. A kc.no means the keys do nothing, and kc.trans means the key is transparent. It will function as the previous key map. So here I have function and number one doing the F1 key, but function and escape here do nothing, and function and A outputs a standard A. KMK also has a tap dance feature, wherein a rapid double tap press can be assigned to a different function. For example, I could free up the caps lock key by double tapping the shift to do the same function. I hope that was useful to you and thanks for watching. Happy tinkering. Link should be in the description, but add a comment if I've missed anything.